Okay. This first one up there, what do we need um, for something to be classified as a solution as far as chemistry is concerned? Okay. I'm just looking for just need a homogeneous mixture. Does it have to be a liquid? What else could it be? Could be the gas, like this atmosphere is a homogeneous mixture. Mm -hmm. What else? One other thing. You guys actually made it last term. You made yourself a homogeneous mixture that's not a gas and not a liquid. A solid? Well, that's good. That, which one? Yeah, you guys made brass. Brass is a homogeneous mixture. Okay. Um, how are the solute and the solvent related? Uh, I don't like that word. Greater, greater amount. Greater amount? Okay. More of. Less of. Okay. Um, explain what happens to the solubility of a solid as the temperature of the solution decreases. Solubility increases. No. It decreases. What's going on there? Why does it decrease? It takes more water molecules. Why? So? Yep, yeah, they have less energy. Okay. Um, solubility of a gas as the temperature goes up? Also less soluble. Okay. Um, so why is it opposite? What's different? Yeah, since uh, if I, when I increase the temp, um, the gas kinetic energy increases, right? And it can, sure, escape. So if it's dissolved, if it's solubilized, that means water is holding onto it with intermolecular forces. And if you increase the temperature of the water, you increase the temperature of the gas. The gas now has more kinetic energy, and that kinetic energy might be enough to break free of the intermolecular forces from the water. And it just goes off into the atmosphere. So if you're going to fish, you want to fish in what kind of water? Cold water, because at least you know your fish aren't, aren't uh, suffocating. Um, molarity with an equation. Uh, and give units for molarity. Okay, so the equation is uh, capital M for molarity, and it's uh, moles what? Solute divided by liters of, solution. liters of solution. Okay, and so then when you're finished with this, then your units are going to be moles per liter. Okay. Um, what is the concentration of reported units of molarity while 140 grams of potassium iodide is added to 100 milliliters of water? Okay, so I need moles over liters for my answer. I've got grams and I've got milliliters. So I'll put 140 grams of potassium iodide over 100 milliliters. And then I'll put 1,000 milliliters here and 1 liter here and cancel the milliliters out. Now I need grams of Ki here. And with grams of Ki, I can put one mole of Ki. And so then I just need the molar mass of potassium iodide. It's 166.0023. Okay. So then this will be moles per liter. So we've got... Uh, Uh, 
8.43. Uh, yeah, sadly, it looks like we have one sig fig, so 8 molar be your answer. The 100, one sig fig. Cumulative. Um, will the potassium iodide all dissolve at 20 degrees? What about at 10 degrees? Okay, so to answer that question, we're going to have to look at that diagram that I gave you in the notes. So it looks like at uh, 20 degrees, yes, because it looks like at 20 degrees we can get 144 grams in there, but at 10 degrees I can only get 135. So flipping back over there, we'll say, um, oops. Yes. No. Uh, explain how you'd make 250 milliliter solution of 0.35 molar sodium hydroxide. Okay. So um, I need to know how many grams of sodium hydroxide I'm going to put in here. So I'll start off with this 0.35 moles NaOH divided by liters. Um, I've only got 0.25 liters, and then for every one mole NaOH, that's 39.99715 grams NaOH. Okay, so we got 0.35 times 0.25 times 39. 99715. So it looks like 3.5 grams NaOH. So that's only part of this question. I wanted you to tell me exactly how to make this. So I'd uh, mass out 3.5 grams NaOH, add to 250 milliliter volumetric flask, half fill, and shake. Uh, fill near line, and then fill to line with a dropper. And that's what you guys are going to be doing today. <clears throat> How about this molarity and molality question? So this one's volume based, and this one is mass based. Um, this one costs more money to do, but it's uh, it's going to be more accurate. It'll be more accurate if you uh, do actually spend the money. But this one's uh, easy. Any questions about that?